Hey, it's Doug Rosner with the Handy Home Helper. Uh, we're doing a little uh, deck repair. <clears throat> this is a little bit different than uh, previous deck repair that you've seen. Uh, this was just to replace some rotted wood. The uh, client is selling the house and they had a list of items from the inspector. <clears throat> some of the items were the uh, rotted wood. You can see uh, this was right here. Okay, you know, okay. You know, rotted. Uh, there was another rotted board up there. There's other rotted boards. I don't know. They didn't pick those. Okay, that's fine. I'm always supposed to re replace the ones that I'm told to on these particular situations. Normally, when I get called, <clears throat> they ask me, "What do you think?" And I say, "Well, let's do this one, that one." Uh, just a quick example. Uh, right up here. I mean, you can see that. You know, uh, there's others, and and boards that are up and down but none of that's on the list that's fine okay not my deal but anyhow <clears throat> what i wanted to show on this was uh this board over here it was if you will it's trapped you can't just go in and pry there's no way you're gonna if you try you're gonna you're gonna damage the board next to it using the pry bar going in there you know trying to go in between all right so you got to pull those nails all right you know so you use a nail puller cat's paw you hear it referred to okay now <clears throat> I'm doing those something you got to look for on this <clears throat> the rim board right here which is you know normally up like that okay there'll be nails fasteners in through here into this deck decking okay and there was one right here you go pulling up on the deck board you're gonna break the rim board so what I did was uh, I went down in between uh, with a metal cutting blade cut the nail off Drop the board the rim board right here drop that and then I was able to take the deck board out now <clears throat> over here on the stairs Okay, rather than go in and use the cat's paw. It takes a long time uh, Especially when you're trying to get in underneath something uh, with the uh, cat paw nail puller uh, It can be uh, very difficult. So <clears throat> what's quite here. I have the choice. Okay, I took my saws off. Oh, look, there's the saws off. Okay, and uh, I just cut right here. You can see it. And I cut here, and I'm gonna pry boards up. Okay. Now, when you're doing that, it's real tempting to jump in here and just start prying. What do I turn it this way, or is that the back one? There we are. Okay. Yeah, that's where it was. Okay. All right. To go pry right in here okay yeah no no sweat right this is what happens this is the danger for that <clears throat> this is a weak point right here see the end grain right what that likes to do is break off that likes to break off so what you got to do is you got to go up inside well what I did was on this I just I pulled up on one end and got the board teetered came in here where I got something more solid and pried up rather than trying to pry on the ends and here's what happens you pry on that end and break that okay you're replacing that skirt board the skirt board right here so then you got to take off these other deck boards replace that folks will say well I'll just nail into the side of it uh, yeah that's not safe uh, if you looked remember the other video uh, previous video about deck repair uh, you saw where I lit I was actually replacing skirt boards because they had put band-aids on it and it's not safe so anyhow so be careful not just here anywhere you where you're prying look to see am I gonna do more damage all right so always look for that and okay alrighty. all right it's Doug Rosner handy home helper signing off groovy guys and gals